I gotta be uh, kind of careful how I, I word this video and I don't want to make it too long because hopefully I'd be telling you something you already know. Uh, but I made, I made a, ma a video about these last year that got struck down off of YouTube, but hopefully maybe we can do it in uh, this context. Okay, so you've all worn one of these. I actually haven't worn one of these in a little while because I live in Florida. But uh, I, I saw this uh, Twitter thread where people were upset about people not still masking. I hate that word, by the way. Uh, wearing masks. And they thought it was because people were being bullied or because of the end of mandates. First of all, no matter how much virtue signaling you saw, most liberals were wearing them because of compliance. Just complying because they were told to. And then once they didn't have to do it anymore, they stopped. Which some people are finding upsetting. And now I'm hoping that I can at least talk a little bit about how these work. Um, because a lot of mandates are done. People are, are done with this. And, it, and um, if you think that's because coronavirus cases are down or something, they're not. They're not down. But airlines and shit and other, you know, transportation companies are ending their mandates and many states have already ended mandates. But uh, this video is about a liberal, as you can see in the thumbnail, who thinks that they should keep wearing a mask because of a very specific disease called monkeypox. So let's show you how these work. First of all, you wear them like this, and the way they work is if you were to cough or spit or sneeze, liquid coming out of your face won't go through the mask. Now some people think that when you breathe while wearing one of these, the air comes through the mask. It doesn't. The air comes from the sides and above and below the mask. And a lot of people think when you wear one of these and you exhale, the air comes out through the mask. They don't. I don't know if any of you wear glasses, but you'll notice them start to fog up, kind of. I don't know if you can see that with the bright light in the room. But that's because the air is not coming through this mask when you exhale. It's coming out above into the sides and below the mask. Now... One thing I can say about the pandemic is coronavirus is an aerosolized virus. It transfers not just through liquid droplets, but through the air in a vaporous form. Now, I'm not going to tell you anything about what that means in relation to this. But if I say it transfers through the air... And when you inhale and exhale while wearing this object, the air is not coming into or out of the mask. That that might say something about this. But this video is about monkeypox, not about saying the medical facts that I was struck off of YouTube for saying last year. Monkeypox does not transfer through liquid droplets. Monkeypox does not transfer through the air. Monkeypox transmits through blood contact. Now, the way you might get monkeypox is from one of three ways, one of which is sort of the same way you would get from rabies, the way you would contract rabies, which is you would be bitten and infected liquid material from the animal will enter into your bloodstream. Another way you can get it is from eating raw bush meat. Um, now, you can actually and have always been able to catch monkeypox from a specific animal in the United States. It's called a prairie dog. Same animal that you can very easily get rabies and, yes, even the bubonic fucking plague from. A lot of people do not eat or fuck around with or play with or, or keep as pets prairie dogs for this reason. It's kind of a similar reason that you wouldn't keep rats as in wild rats as uh, a pet or you wouldn't want to fuck around or touch them or handle their droppings or anything like that but monkeypox is called monkeypox because you are most likely to get it from being bitten by or eating the uncooked meat of a monkey who are also again massive disease vectors now there's Something of a quote-unquote conspiracy theory, which is more just like an unconfirmed medical theory, that the um, AIDS virus 
came from this kind of behavior of doing stuff you're not supposed to do with monkeys. And that is where the new found spread of monkeypox is coming from. It's from people who are doing stuff they're not supposed to do with monkeys. And it's transferring and spreading into Western countries in a very similar way, which is through homosexual sex. Now I'm gonna tell you something you might not know about homosexual sex, and no, I don't know this from experience, but it is a medical fact, which is the reason why it transmits uh, sexually transmitted diseases so much more easily is because there's often a lot of blood involved. A lot of people don't know that, uh, yeah, blood and seminal fluid, which can transmit diseases the same way bloodborne diseases uh, transmit. But if you were to just touch disease infected semen, it wouldn't pass through the skin barrier. It would have to get into your bloodstream the same way rabies from say a bat would get into your bloodstream through the saliva of the bat into your blood stream. Are you seeing what I might be getting at as far as, as homosexual sex? Yeah, I, don't, I shouldn't have to say any more than that. Um, that is how, where you would be at risk um, from catching uh, monkey pox or HIV even. And the only other way you would catch it is through intravenous drug use, and particularly sharing needles. The way that HIV eventually started spreading to non-homosexual people is because it was spreading through the use of sharing needles for drug use. And if you are, again, taking the blood of an infected person and injecting it into your blood, that's how that's transferring. This object right here has nothing to do with that. Nothing. This is genuinely useless, okay? Now, I can't mention what this has to do with any kind of more current uh, in vogue diseases, but I can say that if you were to look up um, how these perform in medical studies done about some not in vogue viruses like influenza and the common cold, you may find that the studies aren't really big on these helping with the spread of those aerosolized diseases. Probably because this is not a gas mask. This is not a sealed air filtration unit of any kind. Now, some people are afraid of getting laughed at so they're not complying with mask orders anymore, even though they still totally, totally support masking you guys. They're totally not complete fucking hypocritical lying virtue signalers. Not at all. However, that's not going to save you from monkeypox. And remember what I told you. When you breathe in when wearing this, the air comes in the sides. And when you exhale wearing this, the air comes out the sides. This is not an air filtration device. I would argue that some certain unspecified virus of unknown origins, as Critical Drinker likes to put it, uh, might have drastically increased in spread through some certain medical misinformation related to how this device works and what it's for, which is for liquid, which is for reduction, not even prevention, reduction in liquid droplet transfer, which is not the same as protecting one or others from air. Because let me tell you, aerosol vi aerosolized viruses can infect you through your nose. And how many people have you ever seen wearing one of these like this? Huh? It can also get into your body through your ears and especially through your eyes. So though may, you might have even been a liberal who laughed it to the... the, the uh, crazy dude who showed up to the uh, supermarket with taped up goggles and earmuffs on wearing a makeshift hazmat suit but the only guy who has any reasonable certainty of not catching coronavirus at the fucking grocery store let alone at a party a rave on an airline in a protest um, at a uh, political march or any other large gathering of people at church 
the only guy who had reasonable expectation of being safe at that location around so many people at who were within arm's reach. Uh, those people uh, that were the only people that had any reasonable expectation of being safe were the people in, in, the, in the hazmat suits that you all laughed at, in the bubbles and whatnot. You shouldn't have laughed at them. They were the only ones taking it seriously. I wasn't taking it seriously because I'm not a coward and I actually know how medical science works. You weren't taking it seriously because you were invested in something that wasn't helping you. I'm not going to even put it on screen anymore. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you that reducing exposure is how you avoid diseases. Now, if you're not having gay sex and you're not eating uncooked bushmeat, you probably don't have to worry about monkeypox. If you're not an intravenous drug user, you probably don't have to worry about AIDS either. And if you are worried about any aerosolized, highly infectious diseases, the best things you can do is socially distance and wash your hands. And this is CDC and WHO recommended medical advice, or at least it was before America started producing and manufacturing a certain object and there might have been some kind of financial incentive in lying about that that object that I'm no longer going to mention or put on screen, but I think you can put two and two together, dear viewer. So let's see if this heavily censored video uh, doesn't get struck down. And uh, we'll see how you feel about that. But holy shit, people. It's time to grow up. It's time to stop falling for scams. Nobody cares anymore. And for God's sakes, if you feel threatened by a disease, you should maybe, you know, learn about it. You can only get monkeypox through ingestion or blood contact, like blood transfusion. Like, hope you don't have to get a blood transfusion if you're afraid of that. And uh, what states are uh, no longer making it a criminal offense to donate blood if you have a bloodborne illness like HIV? Oh yeah, if you live in one of those states and you're worried about your health, maybe you should move and stop voting for the policies and the policy makers who did such initiatives as it's no longer a crime to give blood when you are HIV infected, things like that. Because maybe you're not actually a member of the party of science and you're definitely not a member of the party of health. Sorry, thanks for watching.